Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I've got a shoe review of the Nike Vapor Pro. Make sure you guys smash the like button on this video, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the future videos coming out. So this is a new shoe that's being released by Nike. Uh, had some good use as you guys can see, I've already started to burn through this one a little bit, but I got to try this new shoe. So this is actually replacing the Vapor, the outgoing Vapor 10. And now they're replacing it with this Vapor Pro and have added in a new top tier shoe, which is I believe the Vapor NXT, um, which is the top of the line shoe now. And this is kind of like falling into their mid tier in their shoe line. So this one right here retails for Canadian $160, which although is expensive, I actually think it's a pretty good price for what you're getting in the shoe. Because like I said, this is replacing the Vapor 10s from before, which was a really popular shoe, which was one of the most expensive shoes that Nike was offering at the time. Now those Vapor 10s, when they were new, they were retailing for Canadian $110. So to get this shoe, which is actually, in my opinion, an improvement over the Vapor 10, coming in at 160, I think it's actually a pretty good deal. And I actually think a really good price for what you're getting with this Vapor Pro. Now, taking a look at the shoe itself, I think that this is a pretty good looking shoe. Now, I got this one in the red and white color. I kind of wanted it to match my racket that I use, which is the V-Core 95 from Yonex. So I think it's pretty cool that I have the matching color combination with the shoes, but they do come in a variety of colors, which is always nice. So you guys can pair it up with whatever you're wearing or whatever racket you guys will have options to find a matching shoe. Uh, I, like I said, this does come in a bunch of different colors. I also think that these shoes have some pretty cool details on it, like the uh, little part right here, which if you guys can see says like engineered for tennis players. Cool little detail that I like to see with a tennis specific shoe. Um, I like the little call outs to the sport. Just makes it a little bit different from the other shoes on the market. Now, if you guys are looking for an extremely technical breakdown of the shoe, make sure you guys check out the Foot Doctor on YouTube. He's got some awesome reviews of tennis shoes. I'm gonna be going over the general overview of the shoes, how I felt playing with them, and kind of giving you the opinion of the non foot expert, but rather just a tennis player. Now, I wanna start off with the positives of the shoe. So one of the big things is if you guys have worn the Nike Vapor shoes in the past, you guys know this is a really light feeling shoe and you get a nice responsiveness from the court. Now, that's exactly what I felt with this one. I felt like my foot was pretty much on the ground which is something that I really like with the shoe. It made sliding on the court really easy. It's also a really lightweight shoe, which is what I like. I used to play with the Barricades before they came out with this new one. The Barricades, I always found, had great durability, but felt kind of like a brick on your foot, and you don't really get that feeling with this one. Like I said, very light, very low to the ground, and just feels like a really fast shoe. It doesn't feel like something that you're kind of dragging along. Now, another really positive part of this shoe is actually the stability that you get. If you guys take a look, if I hold the shoe like this, you guys can see that on the outside of the shoe, you kind of have this extra piece here, which is this tough plastic. And what that does is as you're kind of coming down on the corner, it keeps your foot stable with that extra bit of support on the outside. I found that that actually made a huge difference in the step, especially like sliding out to the side. It felt really stable. I never felt like I was off balance in the shoe. And it's also got the little claws, if you guys can see that right there, the little claws on the side, which grip you on either side, kind of on the insole right here as well, which really holds your foot in place and makes you feel really balanced makes it feel very stable no matter what kind of positions you're getting into on the court. So those are some really positive aspects of the shoe. Now, one of the things that I didn't like, which is actually a really big part of the shoe, is actually the comfort. Now, this is a shoe that I tried to wear coaching on a few days where I was coaching like seven hours, eight hours, and I found that over time that this shoe got really uncomfortable for me. I found that this was actually the most comfortable kind of wearing it for like a set or two, but not really for like a day out on the court. Now, the discomfort for me actually came from the tongue of the shoe. I'm just gonna bring this in for you guys right here. You guys can see that this is almost like a little 
sock kind of thing, but it only goes halfway. And I found that that little line right there where the sock kind of ends, that was rubbing on the side of my foot and was causing a little bit of discomfort there for me. My foot is actually pretty narrow, so I usually don't have a problem with the outsides of the shoes. So I was pretty surprised that even I was finding some discomfort there from this uh, from the tongue coming through on the side. Now, if you're somebody who has a wider foot, I think that that's definitely gonna be an issue for you when you're stepping into the shoe, just something to consider. Definitely worth trying on before you guys commit to purchasing this to see if it's actually comfortable or not. Now, one more negative that I have to say about the shoe is the durability. It's not that durable, but I mean, that's kind of the trade-off you get, right? So it's a very fast shoe, very light shoe, but then you're losing some of that durability. If you guys take a look here, you guys can see I've only worn this a few times, played a couple matches, but if you take a look right there on the side, you guys can see I'm already starting to burn through that side right there. Might have been from some of the slides. Bottom of the shoe does remain pretty good, so I'm wondering how long this is gonna last. Usually I burn through the toes up here, but uh, so far this one's been holding up okay. So I guess the, the sole of the shoe, the bottom rubber is pretty tough, but it's kind of this softer rubber right here that you gotta look out for, especially if you're somebody who's gonna slide on the court. I feel like this is probably a weak spot which might burn through rather quickly. It is reinforced up at the top, so if you're a toe dragger, you might have a little bit of extra luck through there. This is pretty hard rubber, so that one might actually last you a little bit longer. But I think overall, yeah, if you're somebody who slides, you gotta look out for that part right there, which will burn through pretty quick. Now thinking if I would buy this shoe again, I would say yes, my answer would be yes. I would definitely be looking into buying the shoe again once I'm finished with it. Uh, like I said, for the price, it's kind of hard to find anything to beat this shoe at the moment. If you're looking for something that's also speedy, lightweight, durable, I'm thinking more like the Court FF Novax, which I actually had before. Then you're looking into a higher price range. You're looking above 200 Canadian dollars, and I think for the new ones might even be around 230. So you are entering a different price range of shoes. For 160, I think that this is quite a good deal. As long as you find the shoe comfortable, if you have kind of more of that narrow foot, I think that this one is gonna be awesome. And 160 bucks, definitely looking to get one of these. Again, I think it's a pretty good deal. Getting a quality, top level shoe here and you're not paying the highest premium, which is always nice. So guys, that is my review of the Nike Vapor Pro. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Hope that it will help you guys when you're making a shoe choice for yourself. If you guys do want to purchase this shoe or another shoe, maybe from a different brand, check out my link to the racket guys in the description of this video. You guys can click on that link so you guys can get a great deal on shoes as well as all kinds of tennis gear that you guys might want. Now, if I was able to help you guys out at all with your decision or if I was able to entertain you a little bit, please hit the like button on this video. It helps my channel out so much. Also hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. I've got tons of racket reviews, which I have planned for the rest of this year. And make sure you guys hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of the posts when they come out. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out and keep swinging.